How's it going guys? We are back another video here and it's my yearly how to score on breakaways video for NHL 23. I'm not gonna lie, it seems like a lot harder to score in NHL 23, but I'm gonna give you guys the ones that definitely are working the most as of release. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. But let's hop into it, right? So I am using none other than the Stanley Cup champions and the Stanley Cup champion, Nathan McKinnon, all right? So Nathan McKinnon is a guy that I chose here and it's a good it's a really good choice. Okay, so my go-to breakaway move, and it has been for many years, I just think it's so good, and it always, always works every year. It really does. Is the classic hold forehand, go backhand forehand. So there I did mess it up. Yes, I know, but here is really a good way to look at it. So you cut in, hold backhand to the forehand, boom. So that'll go in every single time unless you get absolutely robbed. So hold the forehand, uh, to go to hold backhand to the forehand, and then boom, it's, it's in every time, literally. So right yet again, backhand, forehand. I messed up there, but you know, more than likely, uh, this will be going in 90 five percent of the time so yeah just make sure uh you get it down it's very very successful i mean there's really not a lot of moves that i can say are, are that consistently gonna go in like honestly it goes in a lot right now i'm on the all-star difficulty as well uh, in nhl 23 so keep that in mind so it's it's the proper online settings as well so this does go in quite a bit, so make sure you do prioritize that move and try to get good at it because it's probably your best bet of scoring on a breakaway in NHL 23 uh, entirely. So uh, let's move on to another move here, and there is a lot of other moves that you can try, right? So not everyone's going to work, right? So for instance, one that worked a lot in previous years was the Datsuk flip, and I was having a lot of issues scoring it uh, in, in the free skate, as you can saw right there. It does not really work as much. So uh, if you watched my video last year, you're probably saying, oh, I'll do the Datsuk flip again. Well, it's not very successful. As you can see, I'm getting robbed a lot. And I also have gold puck on a string with McKinnon. I don't think it really does anything for the Datsuk flip, but in general, uh, it's just a lot harder to score a Datsuk flip this year. So that's really one less move I would try if I were you guys. So one that I would try is the classic hold forehand, backhand, forehand to the backhand, okay? So uh, that one I think is very successful. It works a lot. It gets the goalie moving a lot. So hold to the forehand, to the backhand, to the forehand, back to the backhand. Uh, I got a little bit too tight for that one, but uh, it very, very much so works, all right? So um, let me try this again. Forehand to the backhand, to the forehand, to the backhand. It goes in yet again there. You know, proof it does work. But yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know. I mean, you, you feel like the forehand to the backhand to the forehand is still probably the most successful one, right? It just makes like a lot of sense that it is probably the most likely one to go in. Uh, also, another way you could try is forehand to the backhand like that. Uh, that's also another eff effective way here, right? You can go backhand, forehand, backhand. I messed up the shot there. I'm supposed to go backhand. But yeah, I mean, that's definitely a very effective way that people have done it for a lot as well. A backhand, forehand, backhand. It's very, very consistently good, and it's a huge way to score on breakaways. So uh, definitely, I would look at that as well. I'd say maybe that one, that one, the backhand, forehand, backhand, I'd say, honestly, it might be a little bit more successful than the forehand uh, to the backhand, forehand. Uh, it just depends, really depends. I mean, like, I'm very, I'm actually very, uh, I guess, acquitted to, I'm very, very, very successful with using righties. Like, righties are definitely my favorite, like, type of player to use. Like, I don't really like using lefties that much, uh, personally. Uh, it just, it's just not my favorite. So uh, definitely I'm better with righties. So that could be a huge thing for you guys as well. You might have an issue another way. So uh, another way to score on breakaways is this. All right. So this one uh, is called like a Corey Perry move. Some guy from my, my Twitch stream always taught me it. So right there, you saw it. Uh, basically you want to uh, LT, which I call it on Xbox back skate, uh, you know, kind of backwards and then, and then just kind of cut to the, the middle and go back in. So let me try this again. You want to come in kind of like from the right side here and then go like that and then to the back end. You know, that's a very successful way to score on the breakaway. I mean, you won't always get that much time, obviously, I know. But uh, in general, I've always found that to be a pretty successful way to score. I actually do, I think, a lot better with lefties when it comes to that move here as well. But uh, again, you, you might not always get that kind of time, right? Obviously, right? It just makes sense. Uh, another one, uh, like, again, like you want to do that more likely, but that's that's the thing. Like it's it just comes in how much time you have for some of these opportunities, right? So there you go again. Uh, he actually poked it there, but uh, that was gonna go in. There's a lot of uh, open net there, so let me try this again. And they, oh wow, he's making a, a good save there. So uh, there's and, and there's another like funny way to do this. I mean, there's another funny like option here if you score on breakaways. You go like go like that. I guess I mean that was kind of a lucky one, but 
if you go here and you kind of pull up here and then go backwards like that and go back in and get the, a very glitchy animation uh that one's more of like a you're gonna style on the player type of goal right you're not it's not again that's more of like a one-on-one -on -one if you can try to like beat the guy one-on-one -on -one and then kind of try to go for that like again it works yes it does but you have to always hope you get the animation and you have to hope that the guy plays very bad defense because i mean that's another way that you can also score in breakaways but you got to make sure that you're going to do that move. It's going to have to work, in other words. So, yeah, definitely make sure of that. Uh, some other ways. I mean, the one-hand tuck, I just really don't feel like it's uh, as good in previous years. Like, I, I definitely wouldn't be going for the one-hand tuck very often. Yes, you could go the between-the-legs route. I messed up that one a little bit. I lost it. But I, I, I don't know. Datsuk flip and the one hand tuck are just not really looking to be that effective this year so that one just missed the net again this is mckinnon who has very high deking as well so keep that in mind right there for mckinnon but yeah i mean there's i don't know i mean the one hand tuck it's it's even a little bit even that's not working right so i feel like you're very limited in your options this year when it comes to breakaways right so another 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 move you could do as well you could just turn your back to the goalie like this and then once you cut you just go forehand again again you need pretty much a clear cut breakaway for some of these to work. I get it. Like, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, if you get a breakaway, you can do anything here. No. There's really a lot of context to every goal here, and a lot of them you really got to just consider, right? So, uh, this one, you can go like that, too, technically. So, uh, that one I kind of messed up, but you can technically go to the backhand there as well. Um, it just depends, right? So, uh, right here, I'm going like this, and then I just turn backhand like that. It can go in, but it's, again, not as effective as the other one where you go forehand, no doubt, but it still can be in a very effective way. Hold forehand and then go to the backhand is also another way to score in breakaways as well. If you're holding forehand, you're baiting the goalie and you go to the backhand last second and score. So again, there's 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 multiple ways here of, of doing it. You can obviously do the simple backhand forehand as well. You don't have to you don't have to do the forehand hold hold forehand backhand forehand. You don't have to do that. You obviously can just go direct like that as well. You could also probably just go backhand as well uh, if you just really get a pretty nice animation where the goalie does come off the post. Uh, but uh, when it comes to really just like straight shots as well, it's gonna be pretty hard. I mean, you you could beat a goalie clean, but I uh, definitely wouldn't be taking like shots shots just like straight on. And and five hole does not really work that often either in the game. You know, it's not something I would try very often there. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Like real life, you can score five hole goals, right? But not in NHL, unfortunately. But uh, I don't know. I mean, there there's certainly a lot of ways to score still, but there are some that are not there anymore. Like that's you flip. And the one hand tuck. So if I had to really rank these guys, uh, I would definitely go with, for me, I'm going forehand, backhand, forehand. Uh, right there, of course, I mess it up yet again. But I feel like that's the number one option. Uh, it could also be backhand, forehand, backhand. That's very successful as well. I'd say probably that's number two for me. Uh, number three would probably have to be the move, this one here, where you kind of just like cut in and then go to the back end. I got a little bit in too tight there. But like I said, it's very effective here. And you go like that, and then to the back end, you made a ridiculous save there. But it is certainly very, very effective. I know some of you guys in the comment section will be like, Henry, you can't even score on half of these. Well, I'm a little bit nervous, all right? I'm trying to make sure you guys uh, see some good content here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just comes down to what you're most comfortable with. It's funny for sure. Like this one was a, was a very funny one where you can go like that and then just kind of go to the back end. You got the animation, which I didn't there, right? So... It just depends. It just depends, guys. Uh, if you have any other questions on uh, goal scoring and how to score, I mean, there's there's plenty of ways. I mean, I guess I'll do a little bit of bonus here as well in this video, not breakaways necessarily. So uh, if you have the puck down low here, uh, definitely still one of the number one ones is obviously coming around the net and just forehanding it there. But uh, sometimes the goalie can even make the save as well. So it's it's not as effective in years previous. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard, honestly. So there's... There's also, uh, when you come from the boards here, uh, if you come from the right corner with a righty, let's just say, you can just hold backhand and you're going to score most of the time, but not this time. I mean, it, it looks like in NHL 23, it's a little bit more difficult to score on just kind of like cutting across the goalie, which I I actually like. I'm not going to lie. So uh, that, that could be another way to probably go around that. Maybe it's like, you know, kind of faking a LT there and then cutting to the net and then going backhand. So if I go like here, right, and then cut like that and then boom but what a save i mean i'm not gonna lie goalies seem to be pretty good in nhl 23 so take my breakaway advice maybe not take my other advice yet but i still have to learn the game so hopefully you guys are enjoying the game when you have a chance to play it and i hope you guys uh you really use this advice and 
hopefully it makes you a better player. And that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I have any other questions on how to score, any type of tips in NHL 23, by all means, let me know. I'll make a lot of videos on everything. So that's really it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. And I'm missing that yet again on a one hand talk. Does not work. Does not work, guys. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.